I'm Joseph Albert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here today to call your attention to what I think is a very interesting article in this month's AJM. Um, it's from a number of centers uh, that have put together uh, data on coronary calcification in elderly patients. Um, as probably many of you know, um, the amount of coronary calcification reflects the amount of atherosclerosis in the coronary arteries. And of course, the more you have, the worse is the prognosis. The question has always occurred, well, this works in younger individuals, but does it work in older individuals? And this article by Wang et al. points out that it works very nicely um, in older individuals, Interestingly, it works even better in women than in men, uh, possibly because uh, women have a little less atherosclerosis uh, at the start uh, of the geriatric time frame. In any case, uh, I think that this also reflects what is going on around cardiology, that we're thinking more and more the CT scans of the coronary arteries to look both at the anatomy or to look just at the calcification um, is really uh, going to take the place of stress testing for predicting coronary disease. The nice thing about the calcium uh, CT scan is it uses very, very little radiation. So please stay in touch with us. We have all kinds of information for you on social media and our website. So uh, uh, until next time, thanks very much for reading the American Journal of Medicine.